Now we're going to write some cues using our magic sheet. I'm going to collapse my CIA, open a new tab, choose magic sheets, and select magic sheet number one. We want to start from the last queue in our queue list. A quick shortcut to find that number is once you say go to queue, to hold shift and press home, and that will populate the command line with your last queue number, and enter. So that'll put us into queue 111. The first thing I want to do here is stop all of our effects. So I'm going to hit our stop effect object on our magic sheet. I'm going to grab my mid-high boom fixtures and say full rim dim enter using those magic sheet buttons we dropped on earlier. And I want these fixtures to be in magenta. I'm going to grab my scroller fixtures and put those at 100% using my intensity palette. And using my encoder, I'm going to roll those into a color. Let's go ahead and put those in our violet, which is our frame six. Next, I'm gonna grab our psych fixtures. So I'm gonna say group 22, full enter. And I want those to be orange. Now I'm going to grab these first two moving lights, channels 104, 105 and put those at full using our intensity palette. And those are gonna go on the guitar player. Next, I'm gonna grab channels 101, 102, put those at full, and put those on the drums. And I want all four of those fixtures to be light blue. And finally, I'm gonna grab my overstage movers using my group button here. Turn those on. I'm gonna put those into focus palette 12 using my keypad, and we want those to be running our circle effect. All right, this looks like our next cue. So we're going to say record next, time three, enter. Next, I wanna grab my psych again, group 22, and we're gonna change that to dark blue. And then we're going to grab our overstage movers once again, and move those into focus palette 13. So the effect is still running, but we've changed their position in the queue. So the effect is going to run relative to its new location. We also want to add an intensity effect on those same fixtures. So we're going to hit our intensity fade effect object on our magic sheet. And still in this queue, I'm gonna grab these side mid fixtures on our booms, and turn those off using our out key. And I'm going to record 113 time three Enter. Now I'm going to turn off our overstage movers using the magic sheet button and then the out key. And I also need to stop the effect on those. And finally, I'm going to take our four moving lights that are on our band members and I need to home their beam position. So I'm going to double tap either form, image, or shutter to get beam on the command line. Home, enter. And those are all going to be placed onto our singer. And this is going to be our next cue. Record next. We'll do a time two, enter. Depending on the style or experience of the person programming the lights, magic sheets can be a great way to expedite their programming process.